Oh. Oh, that might be the biggest one yet. That might be the biggest one yet. What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is 7.52, just before sunset, man, Wednesday, May 6th. And guess what? We just got done. Torrance, Devin, and I tearing this place up. We just got kicked out of Six Flags earlier. Hope you guys saw that video. If you haven't, it's dropping soon. Video a day. We're filming multiple videos in one day so we can get a lot of editing done ahead of time. We can take time to come out and fish and provide you guys with some awesome content. Just caught, like literally tore this place up. Big fish. Weightless lunker log. Even got some top water hits, man. You guys got a treat. Here we go. Dang, look at these beds. Oh, oh, right there. Cast over there. Bass eating bait fish. They're smacking them. First few casts at this little spot here. Pretty slick little location. Spot looks pretty sweet. Just hit the waterfall and the bites. Throwing the trench hog. Looked like there was some bigger catches in this little place. Caroline. I kind of want to tie a leader on this or I'm going to have to I'm going to have to untie this anyways. 12 pound mono or 17 pound floral. 17 pound floral. That's a big fish. There's trees in here. You right. All right, guys, I had my Texas rig on the uh, braided reel. So without untying one of my other setups, I just decided to break out the floral carbon here and tie on a little leader. So double uni knot is my uh, leader knot of choice for tonight. It's just the one I know how to tie and the one I learned how to use and it works just fine for me. There's plenty of other good main line to leader knots, but we're gonna do it this way and catch some fish I believe. The braid floats, this is gonna allow the worm to sink a little bit better. I just probably got four feet, if that, of line, leader line, maybe three feet, just enough. All right, let's get this thing back in the water. Cleaning up my line, make sure not to just leave that stuff on the bank, y'all. I just keep this on me in case I need to tie a leader on the fly. I've got some 17 pound fluoro and some 12 pound mono right there. All right, let's fish again. Now we're going weightless. Took off that quarter ounce weight. Let's see what's up. Getting bites, getting bites. Oh yeah, I got him. I got him. I got him. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I can't tell yet. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Get out of there. Get out of there. Come on. You're coming up here. You're coming up here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, these are some good fish. Oh, he ate that one girl log. It is devoured. Shoot. <laughs> Pulling him in. We're in nice. there. Go. All right, guys. Look what we have here. Good fish. First one for me out of this pond. Using Torrance's recommendation, weightless lunker log is the juice. Good old, probably two and a half pounder or so. Fat fish. They are hungry. Let's get this guy back in the water. If you want to weigh it, the scale's right there. Let's go ahead and weigh him. 2.86. Almost a three pounder. I will take it. Biggest fish for me in a hot minute since that four and a half pounder a couple weeks ago. Awesome. You're free. You're free. You're free. All right, he's off. Go. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, all it was was we got to a new area and uh, I cast it in a spot where they haven't seen the worm yet. I kind of like walked a little closer to the bank on that side and casted a couple other lures over there a minute ago. And so I think they were kind of onto my presence. This guy uh, a little further down the bank, I just saw some rough one over there by that tree that's sticking up. Y'all can probably not see that far on the GoPro, but anyways, got this little guy to hit. Sweet. We might be on to a little evening bite right here. This is the smallest one we've seen out of this place so far. It's been nothing but good size. So let's uh, see if the Dink Master can't pull through with something bigger than two pounds tonight. I'm thinking odds are on our side. I bet you we get some. I bet you we get something pretty good here shortly. Let's get back in the water. I bet you there's another one right there too. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. I think that was the cast afterwards. I think that was back to back. There we go. Well, in one cast, we just upgraded by about a pound. This guy's definitely got more size to it. Let's uh, see if we can't get the... Dude, Lunker Log Weightless is just killing it right now. Oh, thanks for playing, bud. I would uh, go crazy and talk about how cool that was, but I'm really looking for something bigger. Really wanting a bigger fish tonight. Can we make it happen? Come on. Come on. Torrance lost a couple good ones already, man. Peek down this worm about a half inch. That nose is getting torn up from these hook sets. Put that in my pocket. All right, let's get back in there. Oh, prime real estate. There we go. Oh, biggest one for me. There we go. Solid one. Oh, that's a good one. There we go. All right. That's a three. That's fat. Weightless lunker log crushing it. Y'all, check us out, man. That's a solid three and a half probably right there. Three, three and a half fat mama dudes on the lunker log just absolutely choked it Woo! bite is on man let's get him right in the top of the mouth didn't even hit that far out we'll see you mama all right oh that might be the biggest one yet that might be the biggest one yet big one big one he's swimming right towards us oh that's a big one that's a big one Come on. Oh man, a fatty. Oh my gosh. Back to back fatsos. <laughs> no way. Yo, I got the GoPro on the ground. Check this out, man. Another fatty, like cast afterwards. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna have to go get a new lunker log after that. Look at this fish, y'all. Holy cow. That is a solid fish. Probably a four pounder. Look at that tail. Dude, nuts, man. They are just absolutely spanking the lunker log tonight, man. This is crazy, solid fish. Like fatties out of the small little neighborhood community. Whew, all right, same spot. Just cast a little bit further down the bank. See if we can't get a couple more. Where did they go? I know you're still out. Okay, lunker log bite died down a little bit. I'm gonna get the swim bait. I think they chilled out on the lunker log. Tied on the frog. Swim bait ain't doing it either. Stop. On the frog. On the frog. All right. <laughs> All right, we'll take it. <laughs> First time ever on that one too. Different color. First time for me to ever get one on this bad boy right here, that color. Heck yeah, man. Crunching. All right, man. Frog bite. Let's go. Cheers. Double up with Torrance. We'll see you, bud. It's a bass. Yeah. Thank you. That one may be two pounds, uh, but I caught two so far on that side, like four pounders, which is, that's pretty good for these, for the bass, if you're unfamiliar. Yeah, yeah, this is a sweet little spot. You too, thank you guys. Switch to the frog, got that one hit. And I'm curious, if you cut the legs, does that make walking easier on these frogs? Because I'm curious, because this is the same setup I was throwing out with Jacob the other day on the John boat, but I had the white one on, legs cut shorter, and it was walking so much easier. So I think I'm gonna cut these down a little bit. Just want y'all's opinion on that and make sure it's a sure, th uh, sure thing. I'm gonna cut them regardless. <laughs> Hookup ratio has been really good on these filthy frogs compared to the uh, popping ones that I was so used to using last year in the summers before. So we're gonna head out of here, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Heck yeah.
All right, I hope you enjoyed that session. It's just a quick little deal. Right before sunset, we got on some good numbers. We got on some good size, and we hope to do that again soon. Subscribe if you're not. Drop a like, and we'll catch you on the next video. Till then, peace. <gasps>